Hello YouTube and welcome back. It's uh, it's um, Wednesday, April 25th, 2022, 6.31 p.m. Hopefully I make it to work on time. It's a little later than I think it should be. Um, trying to trying to handle some errands and stuff before work today um, yeah you know I, I I had kind of imagined when I got my car back that it would make that a lot easier and 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 it, I'm not gonna say it hasn't because it has but it doesn't change the fact that working from um, 102 degrees outside right now working from um, 7 p.m. until 5:30 a.m. pretty much puts me uh, puts puts the time that I end up sleeping during the time when pretty much all errands have to be ran, and it also um, you know so uh, to to do stuff in the morning pretty difficult. I mean, I get home quick enough that I, I want to try to go to sleep. I'm tired when I get home, and. and so it, it's it's hard to find the motivation to nothing's open when i get off work nothing's open not much um i did kind of luck out the other day um i was really low on fuel and uh, and i didn't realize costco gas opens at 6 a.m so that was that was helpful at least that's open at, at 6 a.m but not much anything else is open at 6 a.m by 7 a.m i'm i'm in bed and so it's kind of it's kind of tough to try to stay awake. I mean, granted, sometimes I am still awake, not really by choice. I just don't come equipped with a power button where I can just shut down instantly. But I'm trying to, you know. Um, but but yeah, like uh, the. Uh, and after he was escorted out of the room, he told reporters outside oh. that enough is enough. Sorry, it's hard to tune out the news, but if I, if I put on music, I just end up getting content matches on these videos, and that's no good. Um, anyway, um... It's one of those part of towns that I drive through, and I just get so many different memories of where where things were that aren't there anymore, and things that happened at various buildings on my right and left. That's what happens when you live someplace as long as I have here. Um, at least for me, it is. Um, what was I saying? Um, yeah, morning. At 6 a.m. I'm. I'm Nothing's open yet, you know, and, and by 9 a.m., like, I, I really need to be asleep or I'm going to have trouble getting to sleep at all. And, you know, so forget about doing, handling anything in the morning, you know, when a lot of things don't open until 9 and 10 a.m. Um, and then it's it's almost, it's kind of a, a opposite but similar problem in the afternoon. Um, I still have an alarm waking me up at quarter after four. Not that I need to be up at quarter after four, just I haven't, haven't, I want to say I haven't figured out how to disable the alarm. I know how to disable the alarm. I just haven't taken the time to actually do it. Um, because uh, on this Android phone, it's just tedious as hell to me. Um, really wish I had had my iPhone still. I just I find everything on this Android phone to be difficult and tedious to do. Um, anyway, um, yeah, so it, it wakes me up, and usually at that time I'm just really, really tired still. Um, and I kind of found out the hard way today that it's like, you know, I got up and I'm like, well, shit, I need to, I got some things I got to handle. And I got dressed as quick as I could and headed out the door. And that gets me out the door in time to maybe get one thing handled just barely as things are closing. So, and, and then after that, like, I'm just stuck in heavy traffic. Now, I found that if I, you know, if I go straight to work, I, I make pretty good time there because I managed to catch the tail into traffic. I don't get stuck in it. But, um, yeah, like, I... 
today, <laughs> case in point today, um, I've been needing to get to my uh, my storage. And I don't know if I mentioned it on the vlogs the day I got my car back the first time <laughs> at the beginning of the month. Because that day I got my car back doesn't really narrow it down that much at this point. Uh, there's been three of those days. So I got it back after, you know, seven and a half months of of waiting to get the engine replaced and that was a that was an overwhelming day to put it mildly and then there was the, the day after i got the fuel pump replaced and it was the day after i got the uh flywheel repaired or replaced or whatever was done with that i i still haven't figured out what the hell a flywheel is um i know it has something to do with the transmission Whoa, go, dude, what the, that pickup truck just went on the curb. That was insanity. Um, sorry, I got to pay a little more attention to the traffic because it's still pretty heavy. And it's 637, so now I'm not even 100% sure I'm going to make it to work on time. Damn it. Uh... And one of the errands that I wanted to run, I didn't get run, but I guess it doesn't really matter. So, um, uh, so shit, where was I? Uh, oh yeah, so today, yeah, I got out the door as quick as I could and went to my storage. So the, the day I got my car back after seven and a half months of waiting to get the, the engine replaced, um, and of course the big, the big financial kick in the junk was just how much my insurance cost went up from what I, I've been accustomed to paying for a six-month policy. Um, and amazingly, I was able to, to, to pay that, but it's left me just really, really strapped the entire rest of the month. Um, anyway, when I, when I got it back and... And I was really stressed out just because I, I, I just forget what all I was trying to get done that day. And obviously I had to go into work still. Um, but, um, and I was still dealing with, you know, being on the bus as well. And then out of, out of nowhere, I got a phone call from uh, Bevan, the manager over at U-Store, telling me that I needed to come down there and, and fill out some other form. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm well aware that U-Store has probably the best deal going right now uh, on storage. I'm lucky to have the units that I have because apparently they've been sold out nonstop for quite a while. Um, I have zero vacancy and um, the, the so-called girlfriend Priscilla, not even want to talk about that today because, um, yeah, that's pretty constant source of frustration as well and, and not providing the one relief that I really need from her anyway I digress um, yeah the um, so so I, I appreciate that I do have my storage there at, at, at U store and, and for a reasonable rental rate is uh, yeah the so-called girlfriend like she's I guess in the process of getting a different moving her stuff from her storage unit to another storage unit because the rent increases at hers have just been ridiculous. Like, like I think they, she said they, they raised her rent like $200 for storage. Like, $200, that's that's more than you should even be paying for storage, goddamn. But anyway, uh, mine is still, even though it has had a couple increases, it's still, still at a rate I consider reasonable it seems to be much less expensive than everything else in the area um, but my god difficult to deal with like things that with almost any other kind of business could just be handled with a phone call I mean I, I, I pay bills over the phone all the time in fact paid my uh, just paid my um, cable internet bill over the phone it wasn't a problem um, you know, it's, it's just read, read a credit card number, uh, give enough identification that, that they know who you are and that it's your, your account. Um, and, and 
and, and read a credit card number and and and, and with the exception of um, um, I think it's my Fry's MasterCard which is handled by uh, US Bank with the exception of those idiots like pretty much every other bill that I have and and, and, and credit card that I have everything I have like Usually all it takes is a phone call to set up automatic payments. Like, yeah, I just associate this bill with, with this card. This is the number, this is the, the three digit number from the back. Uh, you already got my name and address. Just, when's the bill due, that's fine. Just just pay it off that account and I'll make sure there's always money in that account. And, and at this point, like I'm working steadily enough that I've generally been able to, to handle that, barely. And, but yeah, you store that involved coming in and just filling out. Like I've got three units right now, so I have to fill a form, not just one form with the three unit numbers that I have, but no, a separate form for each fucking unit. And then on top of that, like, it just uh, why am I filling out forms? It's it's 2022. Like, don't you have an app for this? Goddamn. And even the places that, you know, I, I, half my stuff I handle through apps, but even the stuff I don't, generally it's as easy as making a phone call. And they can handle it over the phone. No, you need to come down here and fill out the forms. So I did that. Like, I handled all that, I want to say, two months ago. And I know I vlogged, like, before and after about, oh, finally, this is something I don't have to worry about. Should have been something I wouldn't have to worry about, and I mean, she's she's like, well, it's this card ending in these four digits. Yeah, this is four, a four a four digit number doesn't tell me what card it is. I got a whole pocket full of plastic. Like, like I I don't remember numbers. I don't remember numbers. I I have trouble remembering the birth dates of my own children. I don't remember numbers. Period. Full stop. Um. Yeah. Like, I, I remember the cards by what they are. Like, you know, what's Discover, Visa, MasterCard. Is it, you know, is it the, the Costco Visa? Is it the Fry's, Fry's MasterCard? Uh, well, Wells Fargo Visa. Like, that's how I remember the stuff, is by what they are. It, it, you know, or Wells Fargo Debit, that's another, you know, I mean, shit, I got some banks I got two, three cards with. So, so yeah, telling me a four-digit number, that doesn't tell me what the fuck card is. So every time she's going through these, and I'm having to shuffle through all of them trying to look at the numbers with, with my shitty eyes, which has trouble seeing numbers. On that note, I, one of my supervisors at the end of the night last night was wanting me to help her find a... Uh, we've got these pink control slips now on every... Uh, this is like kind of a newish thing. We've got these pink control slips on every uh, pallet, almost every pallet supposed to be on every pallet sometimes they get skipped but every pallet down at Amazon and apparently something got misplaced that came out of a particular loading dock and she's like yeah I need to find the one that comes from this number and she points at this number in such a tiny ass font I'm like oh there's a number there she's like yeah I said I, I can see there's a number there I can't tell you what it is you really are overestimating my eyes I said I don't I don't you know I would need glasses but I don't have them and she's like oh I'm like sorry I just I can't y'all got to start doing that stuff in like bigger fonts <laughs> otherwise yeah don't ask people that are that are over <laughs> over 50 that don't have glasses on to do it sorry um anyway and she ended up having to get somebody else to do it and, and not that I wasn't willing to help I just literally could not see the numbers anyway so yeah it's a bit of a strain you know to see numbers on credit cards I got to hold them up to my face and shit she um so I, I must have been there an hour, like an, an hour, well, maybe I'm exaggerating, but I, it was definitely over half an hour, more like 45 minutes. But when you factor in the amount of time it took me to get there by bus and then bus to wherever else I was going, I mean, this is something that took a good solid two plus hours of my day a couple months ago to, to settle all the, settle all the, basically, 
one specific card that I have access to through a banking app that I'm able to remember the password to because I use it on a regular basis. Because some of my banking apps have been locked out of just because I, I don't use them enough to remember the shit, and I've done password recovery so many times they've just locked my ass out, which is frustrating as fuck. And of course, I can't ever reuse passwords that I'm familiar with. It's like, you've used that password before. Well, I'd like to use it again. My account. Should it not, should it not be my choice? But I digress. These things piss me off. So, um, anyway, one that I, one of the banking apps that I use almost daily, like I never have any problem getting into it, got it installed on all my devices. Like I, I can, I can use their website. Like it's just, I don't have problem with that one. And and I've been steadily keeping enough money in that 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 account that it's like no problem. Let's let's have that be the primary. Now for some reason she's got my two small units. Somehow she's able to get those she's able to get those clustered together as one payment, but she can't seem to cluster it with my other unit. So it has to be processed separately. I don't understand why that's like if you can cluster two units together, why can't you cluster three units together? Why do I have to have two separate accounts? Like why can't you consolidate that? Why is that so difficult? I don't know, but apparently it is. Um, so, so anyway, going through all the stuff. So at this point, everything's going through twice. So I'm having to do everything. Some things I'm having to do times three. Something at the bare minimum, I have to do everything times two. And and I get the uh, hey, I'm getting to work on time. By the way, it's six forty-seven. Um, um, I'm, I'm, so I thought everything was handled to where, because uh, I can't even, like, say I need to make a payment, and I have no physical way to get down there because of work schedule or bus schedule or car broken down or, I don't know, maybe I'm in Oklahoma for another niece's funeral. They seem to be dropping like flies. So, so yeah, um... Yeah, I've noticed coming into work this way, it's really easy to not notice all the homeless people yeah, to the south of me. Just thought I'd throw that out there. Because when I mention those homeless encampments to other co-workers, they're like, they don't know what I'm talking about, and now I realize why. Um, anyway. Um, oh, sorry, just thinking of that because I can see the one big van that dude's been living in since before I got this job. And I couldn't really see the other ones looking to the right as I went around the corner. How do we protect schools? How about a staff that pays attention to your students and, not, and other people who go in and out of the building? I don't know. My school didn't need any, any protection. We did just fine. We carried guns to my school. All right. I don't even want to talk about that. That has me so pissed off. Well, so many things have me pissed off at this point. Just wish I was going home to some nookie so I could at least shed some of the pissed off every day. Anyway, um, now I gotta wrap this up because it's like 10 till, and of course, I got here late enough now. I'm gonna struggle to get a good parking spot. Um, at least it's Wednesday night. I, I like the staff I work with on Wednesday a lot better than the, the other nights that I work. And I can't even, I don't have time to go into details on that. No, 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 time to finish the story about storage and credit cards. Anyway, so, so yeah, incredibly tedious amount of filling out forms and sifting through cards and looking at numbers on the end of cards was done because if I do need to make a payment, if I do need to make a payment, um, I can't just like with every other creditor and bill I have, I can't just simply call and be like, hey, you know, can I just make a payment over the phone? Yes, cool, awesome. And, and give them and give them a credit card number and make a payment. It's never, ever, ever that easy. They just can't seem to do it, which is super frustrating. So um, what I end up having to do, so it, it, not unless they have this form already on file with me signing it and filling all this bullshit out. So basically I, and I've switched it through like three different cards. So what I went, did is filled out new forms for every fucking card. So that the, the one that goes through my banking app would auto debit. And if for some reason that payment didn't come through or I knew there wasn't going to be enough money in that account, I could at least make a phone call 
and do a payment on one of these other ones because these forms have to be filled out already before I can make the goddamn payments. So handled all of that, handled all of that. And then she calls me on the day I'm trying to get my stuff to let me know, oh, one of the boxes wasn't checked, so I can't do the blah, 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 blah. Then fucking check the box, but I can't do it. You have to check the box. What the fuck difference does it make? Check the box and tell them I said to check the box. Tell them I did it, who knows? Who knows? Who cares? Just do it. Why the fuck, you know, the, why is it every other place I make payments from has no problem with this? Why is this so difficult for you? Oh, because it's a law. Bull fucking shit. Tell me the statute. God, I just want to choke everybody out that ever said, uses it's a law as an excuse. No, somebody told you it's a law and you're stupid enough to believe them. It, it's not, a, unless you can cite me a statute or a, a city ordinance or some United States code that I can look up and Google and verify that it's the law. If you're saying something's a law, I'm calling bullshit. Unless I know for a fact it's a law. Because I hear people use that it's a law excuse all the fucking time. And, and they're full of shit. Um, anyway, it's no, it's not a law. Everybody, my girlfriend can make that, can do that thing with her storage. So are they breaking the law or are you just bullshitting me? I'm my, 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 my money's on you're bullshitting me, right? Well, I don't know. It's just I'm not allowed. So sick of people thinking with their policies and not their brains. But I mean, they're at 100% occupancy, so they're doing something right. Yeah, they're cheaper than the competition. Full stop. That's it. That's all. Um... Anyway, and, and people who have their stuff, most of the people that are there are so poor they can't afford to move it. So there's that too. Um, anyway, I gotta wrap this up. It's 52 after, and I gotta get my ass in the building. Um, so, yeah, long story short, she calls and all this stuff, and I'm just like, and I'm I am about going to a panic attack because I'm pretty unstable that moment anyway. And she's like, okay, I'll do, it. I'll just do it, I'll do it. I'm I'm sorry, just I gotta gotta handle. Thank you. Like, you're not gonna get in trouble. I'm not gonna get you in trouble. Your, your boss will be none the fucking wiser. Like, like I get he's on get cameras at you all the time. Those cameras aren't that good. He's got better shit to do than review every bit of the camera, especially when I'm not gonna complain about it. Um, yeah, so anyway, she's like, okay, so it's that, that'll go through, you'll be fine. Well, wrong card she put it on the wrong card which is fine like the card money on it and stuff but i'm like so i keep regularly checking my banking app and i see the one payment has gone through but the other payment is not and i've been like worried that i'm going to be charged late fees or they're going to be charged you know or i'm going to be evicted without even knowing about it because i don't have time to go to my storage hardly ever and and i get down there and anyway i gotta wrap this up so long story short went there today yeah, I got I got everything needed to be done with my storage handled, and I left Obama phone number one there. So now I got to try to find time to get there. Assuming I left it there, I don't know where it is. I, I know I left the apartment with it. I don't have it now. Freaking sucks. Anyway, thanks for watching. I got to get my ass inside. I got five minutes to punch in. Thanks for watching.